Welcome. I'm Lisa Slankard with the League of Women Voters. The League of Women Voters is a volunteer, nonpartisan, grassroots political organization. In our over 100 year history, we have not endorsed or opposed a candidate. Our mission is to empower voters and defend democracy. Candidate interviews encourage informed and active participation in government and increase understanding of major public policy issues. The League of Women Voters of Cook County is composed of over 1,600 members from 12 local leagues within Cook County. The League of Women Voters of Chicago is one of those local leagues. As described in the Illinois Voter Guide, the Cook County Board of Review fairly and impartially reviews the assessments of all property within the county to the extent authorized by the property tax code, corrects all assessments which should be corrected, raises, lowers, and or directs the county assessor to change, correct, alter, or modify assessments as justice may require. It also uses the authority provided by the property tax code to ensure a full, fair, and impartial assessment of property. Within me is Larry Rogers Jr., one of two candidates running in the March 19th primary for the Democratic Party nomination to be commissioner Board of Review, 3rd District. We have asked the candidates to give a two minute opening statement that should include their qualifications and experience, what they want to do during their term of office if elected, what do they want the voters to know about them. They will also be asked three questions and will have one minute to answer each question. They have received the questions in advance and a timer is being used. So candidate Rogers, you have two minutes. Please begin your opening statement. Thank, thank you. Uh, first, let me thank the League of Women Voters for uh, conducting these interviews. I think it's a very important part of the voting process and will be of assistance to voters in determining uh, what each candidate is about and who they should support. My name is Larry Rogers, Jr. Uh, I am currently uh, serving commissioner of the Cook County Board of Review and have been serving in that capacity for the last 19 years. By way of background, uh, I have a undergraduate Bachelor of Science degree in managerial economics uh, and a Juris Doctorate degree uh, and am a practicing lawyer now again for approximately the last 30 years. Uh, the Board of Review uh, by statute is a quasi-judicial agency uh, and in part requires that attorneys appear before the board if they if the property at issue is a an, an industry industrial or commercial property or a property owned by a corporation. So I've always thought it was important to have uh, equally yoked and qualified candid uh, individuals serving as analysts of the agency and have worked very hard to hire and retain uh, lawyers and other qualified uh, real estate professionals. Uh, if elected, I want to continue that uh, work of identifying uh, more qualified candidates to work as analysts in the agency. I think it provides a degree of protection for the agency and that uh, certified professionals and lawyers have their own ethical obligations. And that has heightened the uh, quality of analysts that we have in the agency. And I wanna continue in that regard. I similarly want to uh, increase our outreach efforts. We've done a great job with community outreach efforts and um, I wanna continue those efforts to make sure everyday taxpayers have access to the Board of Review. And finally, I want voters to know that uh, I have always operated with integrity, honesty and ethics and commit myself to doing that uh, if reelected and when we when reelected for this office. Thank you, candidate Rogers. The first question that we're as asking, what are the most pressing issues in this office and how do you plan to address them? You will have one minute to answer this question. Thank you. One of the more pressing issues in the office is the volume of errors that we're seeing and having to address out of the Cook County Assessor's Office. Uh, I have now served at the Board of Review for 19 years and have had the chance to see uh, at least three different assessors. Uh, and by far, we've never seen as many errors as we're currently seeing out of the current assessor's office. Um, uh, as an example of that, we had the tax bills coming out on time for uh, approximately 10 years. And with the new Kagi administration, 
uh, the implementation of a, a new way of evaluating appeals has been disastrous and led to the tax bills going out late with um, errors unlike we've ever seen before. So I'd like to uh, do our part to try and help uh, the assessor uh, get it together so that he gets the bills out on time, gets his work done timely, and the taxpayers um, can, again, rely upon timely bills. Thank you. Uh, question number two. Currently, the Cook County Assessor's Office and Board of Review do not utilize the same criteria for commercial assessments. Should the two use the same criteria? And if so, how will you rec reconcile the differences? I think it's important to understand that the Board of Review does not assess property. Uh, that's purely the purview of the Cook County Assessor's Office. What the Board of Review does uh, is when a taxpayer payer feels that they've been over-assessed, they have an independent agency that's available to them to challenge that assessment, and they have the opportunity to present evidence of the value of their property by way of appraisals or comparable properties for the uh, analyst to consider and make a decision. The, difference, the differences at the Board of Review currently are that the Board of Review utilizes nationally recognized uh, standards uh, as approved by the International Association of Assessing Officers by way of tax loads. Um, and the assessor's office has abandoned the use of tax loads, unlike other prior administrations. And uh, the tax, the, the current assessor tries to use taxes, but he's very non-transparent and doesn't disclose exactly how he does that. So his change in procedure is really the, the heart of the problem. Thank you. And then for our final question, in its last session, the Board of Review reviewed and adjudicated nearly half a million assessment appeals, more than neighboring jurisdictions. What can the Board of Review do to reduce that number? Well, first and foremost, uh, the number of appeals that come to the Board of Review is in part due to the significant difference in size of Cook County as compared to some of the surrounding jurisdictions. So that's one component that uh, we cannot change. Uh, but the reality is that uh, people who appeal to the Board of Review are appealing because they believe there was an error made at the assessor's office. The more the assessor can get it right in terms of valuation of property, the fewer appeals that we would see. Uh, if people could rely upon the assessed values being accurately determined, uh, then they would not need to appeal uh, if their assessed values were consistent. But what we see are uh, non-uniform valuations of similarly similar similarly situated properties across Cook County, and we see errors in the characterizations, the characteristics of the properties uh, that the assessor has even admitted. So if he could get it right, then you'd see less appeals at the Board of Review. Thank you. Um, that will conclude our interview. Thank you very much for participating. And this will be appearing in the Illinois Voter Guide. Thank you very much. Thank Goodbye. you. And good luck to you with the process. Thank you.